right, Derek, this is the sixth night that those families have been staying in hotels with no word on when they can return home or if it will ever be safe. I heard from a family of five saying right here at the country and in suites, they tell me they feel stuck. Diana Williamson went and her four children packed up from their apartment at the community within the corridor Saturday and packed in to a hotel room. I just had to pick my kids up from the bus stop over there. The first thing my son said to me, mommy, we going home because he know where we live. He know our apartment building. And all I can say, no, stay. we not going home. Williamson Wynn says the uncertainty brings back painful memories for the single mother. I've been homeless with my kids. I stayed in the shelter with all four of them in 2020. Three years later, I'm back homeless living out of a hotel. Like, mentally, that is the hardest thing to deal with because now I feel like I failed my children. She wants someone to take accountability, and she wants answers from the apartment developers. Until then, Williamson Wynn says she feels stuck. I want to break my lease. I've been telling them that. They're not answering me about that. I want my money back. I will find me a house. I want my lease broken so my kids can be comfortable, so my kids can go outside and play. And Kendall's back with us. Kendall, we can understand that frustration. We've been trying to speak to the developer, 12 News has uh, all week, the de developer, the apartment owners, to get them on camera to answer direct questions. What their, what's their response today? Well, the developer hired a PR firm to handle media requests. We asked them again today for an on-camera interview, and they told us at this point they don't know if they'll be doing any interviews. So still little answers. Kendall Keys.